Is she in there? Is there a space next to her? Okay, good. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a list of things of why my boarding school was definitely an odd one. It was like those traditional boarding schools you see in movies or something. And by movies, I mean Hogwarts. <laughs> Everyone has to like march very silently around. It was very, like I'd say it's culty. Like if you think about it as a punishment, you just think like, how, like who even thought I'm talking about? Like TGIF, no. We have Saturday school. People sometimes talk about having gone to boarding school or I've seen like people's videos on boarding school and I just think like well, everyone's just walking around chill, there's no un uniform, there's no like whatever. And I've always thought like, damn, I really should have vlogged my school. And I was going to, but I couldn't. Because rule number one, we were not allowed any phones. When I say no phones, it's not like you've watched Wild Child and your strict housemistress comes around with a box saying, Mobile phones please, kiddos. <sighs> You literally cannot have your phone out of house. Like if you have your phone in class, they take it away. If you're on your phone walking to class, they take it away. And like when I say take it away, they could take it away for days. Like actually just take it away. And whenever your housemistress or headmaster decides to give it back, they'll give it back. If they don't feel like giving it back, they're not gonna give it back. And it's as simple as that. And I'm not just saying like during the school day. I mean in the evenings if you had your phone out of house, not allowed. On the weekends if you had your friend, oh sorry, I mean on our one day weekend, on a Sunday, not allowed. You just cannot have your phone out of house. So I'm gonna start with the most important thing, which will lead me to why we were called Hogwarts. Well, we wore gowns. What do you mean, like dressing gowns? No. We wore cloaks. That's right. Just think about a cape you buy, and for a Halloween costume, or for like a vampire, or the Harry Potter, well that was us. That is what we had to wear daily. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not on Sunday though. But we had to wear a surplice on Sunday. Basically a surplice was the white version of our gown because Sundays are holy days. Anyways, that's where like the whole thing about us being in Hogwarts started. So every other like school that came to play matches against us, they would play the Harry Potter theme song when like coming towards us to try to be like, ha ha ha, you wear gowns. And it's like, well, we're cool. Yep, we look dope. And it is like just an ancient tradition that I don't think they're getting rid of unless they do now because we have a new warden. Um, yes, our headmaster was called a warden. That's another weird thing. Um, it's like a prison word. Why would you call a headmaster a warden? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> moving on swiftly now that you know that fact. Did I mention we had Saturday school? Yep. That's right. But then again, if I think about it, I don't know what we would have done on Saturdays if we didn't have school. Because we had so many rules, like there was literally no free time or nothing to do in your free time that you were allowed to do. So you might as well be in class. We had a rule book, but it wasn't called a rule book. It was basically our Bible. And it's given to everyone at the beginning of the school year, to your parents as well, and it literally tells you everything. It gives you every single person's name in the school, and it gives your birthday, how old you are when you start the new school year, but like I mean like day by day, so I was like 17.5 months or something like that. And it has like letters next to your name, so if you won prizes and stuff like that. Um, and it just like gives you literally from the first days of school until you're, you're finished for summer holidays, it will give you a like day by day thing of what's gonna go go on. I don't know if I can say this is a odd thing that we went to chapel because I do know that there's still schools that go to chapel. So we went to chapel every single day. 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If there was another day of the week, we would have been in chapel. 15 minutes of chapel every single morning at 8 a.m. And then 45 minutes of chapel on a Sunday. We had to line up in cloisters. We were not allowed to speak. And then people would walk in one by one in pairs. So like you'd kind of like join in like this. And then we would sing. A well-behaved like big body of people all singing. And it was such a loud and like I'm just going to put in a clip. <laughs> into how they punished us. We had five punishments. I'm going to list them from not so bad to worst. Blue. The tree got blue pieces of paper and had to write lines. House restriction. Instead of going to hot drink, you had to go straight to house. 7, 10, 8, 10. You had to wake up at 7, 10 and sit in dining hall until 8, 10 and literally just write blue. Cloisters at break time everyone had to line up in cloisters when that bell went you march around the courtyard yes i'm gonna show you a map of us just walking 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 and you have to walk in your perfect pairs and walk all the way down down the steps around and back into cloisters lined up perfectly and silent nobody talks nobody whispers nobody cracks a smile like if anyone saw us we looked like a cult restriction Okay, I'm just gonna use smoking as an example. So on the, the top of your piece of paper, it would say, a court smoking, blah, blah, blah. So this was literally your paper of shame. You had to bring this paper everywhere. Your punishment was basically stamped on your forehead. Restriction lasted from one to two weeks or sometimes longer, I think. And you would have to, every single morning, do seven, 10, eight, 10. Then, at break time, at right after classes, you have to run to break, get your paper signed by the teacher on duty at break. And once you've given your paper over, you have to run back to house. Why do you have to run to house? You have to change out of your uniform. <laughs> Literally, you have to take off your uniform. That is your shirt and your jumper or your shirt and your blazer and your skirt or your trousers and your socks and your tie and your gown, you have, your shoes, everything. You have to take off your uniform. And run naked back to dining hall. <laughs> okay, you didn't have to run naked. You have to put on your sports uniform and you have to run back to the person on duty, show them that you've changed. But no, no, you don't get your sheet back. You have to run back to dorm, change back into your full uniform, run back to dining hall, and then only do you get it properly signed off by the teacher on duty. And you have to do that for break lunch and break again afterwards. Next thing on my list, no makeup, no nail polish, no unnatural colored hair, and no unnatural hairstyles or bad hairstyles. That's right, you couldn't have a bad hairstyle. If you were a guy with a bad haircut, <laughs> you just like were deemed inappropriate to be viewed by the rest of the world. You actually could not play sports matches or had to do anything where you were seen out in the public representing the school. You had to wear the school beanie with the crest to cover your ugly ass hair. <laughs> it was so bad. Like who even thinks of something like that? And like why? It's so unnecessary. I think this was like one of the weirdest things that like really brought back the whole like tradition thing. So when you became a prefect, one of the first chapels was like a special chapel. So you literally had like a whole ceremony type thing. And that was like also a surplus day. We had a new teacher at the time and he was really young and he taught in a public school beforehand. So when he came to ours, he thought it was like a huge culture shock. And he saw this and he told us afterwards, like I actually thought it was like a creepy cult. Like I didn't know if I should be scared or not. We were lining up down the aisle and then you had to walk up two by two. You had to stand in front of the warden and he would say some Latin phrase including your name. So like you have officially been ordained prefect almost. 
and then you would have to like walk back a bit and then you would kneel down so we were all kneeling down on these cushions in front of the warden like facing the altar and then I don't know he said something else and then that was that and we were basically like knighted you're probably thinking like damn that is weird but you have to be there to understand I really don't think anyone will understand but it's just like yeah I forgot to mention one more thing our secret society Okay, it's not a secret society, but when you graduate, you join the society. And we have dinners around the world. Okay, that sounds very fancy. Um, I'm just hyping it up. So I really hope you enjoyed my video. I know it was a bit of a different one, but I just thought it would be interesting to share with you my traditional boarding school experience because I know it's very different to other people. And I know like the idea of boarding school is very alien for a lot of people already. I hope you give me a thumbs up and of course press that subscribe button.